So here we have question six, which is about the trapezium rule, and then moves on to some deeper trigonometry later on. So let's start off with the trapezium rule, which says the area under a graph, the area is equal to the height h over two, height over two times by the first term and the last term. So f of one plus f of n, let's make f of n our last term, then plus 2 times all the terms in the middle. So f of 2 plus f of 3, I'll put 3 of 3 there, put it back, f of 3 plus f of n minus 1. So if f of n is our last term, if n is our last term, then f of n minus 1 is the one before that. So if one's the first, then these are all the ones in the middle. So, there we go. So I can explain that a little bit better now. So we have five ordinates and four strips. Five ordinates and four strips. And the way I got taught this is think of a fence with panels in it. So, a fence like this. And the ordinates are like the fence posts. So, this is going to be fence post number one here. Then we're going to have fence post number two, fence post number three, fence post number four, and fence post number five. So then what we have is we have four strips. That's the first strip. That's the second strip, third and fourth. So that's what five ordinates means. So then what we can do is say, OK, so, we've got our equation, we've got our definition of ordinates and strips, so we want to find an approximate value for the area of the shaded region. Okay, so, let's make ourselves a little table here. So we're going to have x on one side, and because this graph is sine of x, we're going to have sine of x on the other side, and then go down like this, of course. So, then what we can say is, right, so we need to go between 0 and 2, and we need to have four equal strips. So what's 2 over 4? 2 over 4. Well, that's going to be a half, isn't it? So go up in stages of a half, starting from 0. So 0, then 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2. So they are our five ordinates. They are our five fence posts. So then we're going to find out what sine of x is at 0 and at 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 2. So it's going to be these points up there. So we're going to find out what those are first. So let's do that. Let's do that. So when x is 0, sine of x is also 0. When x is a half, we get sine of x being... 0.4794. When it is 1, we get 0.8415, 0 0.9975, and 0 0.9093. And we can check that that makes sense because if we go here, we've got the numbers increasing as we go down, still increasing, still increasing, and then at this one, at our last one, it decreases again. And we can check that that works because we go increasing, 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 and then down for the last one. So we think that's right. Then what we've got is this is this here, this one is going to be our first term. This is our second, this is our third. This is the fourth and this is the fifth. So in this case, n is going to be equal to five because we have five ordinates. So if we go up and use our equation that we have up here for the trapezium rule, then the height, the height there, that is the gap between each of these fence posts. So we just worked out that that's half. It wasn't difficult. So the height is a half. So we can write down the area, the area is equal to a half, 
half over 2 times by times by the first term and the last term. First one and the last one. So the first one is 0 and the last one is 0 0.9093. So that's going to be 0 0.9093 like that. Then plus 2 times all the rest of the terms added together. So that's this one here, this one, and this one. So let's do that. I'm going to run out of space to write it down, but you can see what I mean. Yeah, so we're going to write in 0 0.4794, 0 0.8, 415, and 0 0.9975. So two times all of those. And then we can use our calculators, we can work that out. So when we do that, we are going to get, I'm skipping a few steps here, I mean, you can use your calculators and go along with that, but we're going to go with a quarter times by, quarter times by 5.546. Now, I just want to take a note here. You may have noticed that I'm using four decimal places here, and that is because the question asks for three significant figures. Now, I want my terms of accuracy here not to be compromised, so I'm using four just to make sure that I don't get a kind of slightly wrong result come the end of my calculations. So, if we do that and we get a quarter of that, then we are going to get 1.3923 significant figures. Three significant figures. And that's the answer. So it's just remember this formula, remember that. Remember this ordinates thing and how to calculate the height. The height is just the gap between the fence posts. And you should be okay. So let's move on. Let's move on from that. Get rid of that and get rid of that, get rid of that, good. So let's, let's move on to describe the geometrical transformation. So this should be fairly straightforward. So we've got y equals sine of x, y equals sine of x, and we've got y equals 2 sine of x, y equals 2 sine of x. So if the change from these two, the change is this two here, if the change is within this x, so if it was sine of 2x or you know, if it was sine of x over 2 or something like that, then we would say that it changes the x value, it changes the x value. Seeing as it doesn't, it's outside of that little kind of sine of x bracket, you know, if you have, imagine having a bracket there, seeing as it's outside that, then we say it's affecting the y. So, what is it doing to that y? Well, it's making it twice as big. So you imagine if sine of x is 2, then you've just made it twice as big. If sine of x is 4, you've just made it twice as big. So, what we see here is a stretch, stretch, in the y direction, y direction, and the terminology that they use is the scale factor. Scale factor, that means how much is it being stretched by. The scale factor is 2, because you've made everything twice as big. So you can imagine, let me draw out a little sine graph for us. Here we go. So, if we have sine doing something like this, right, then stretching a scale factor of 2 is going to be twice as big there and twice as small there. So it's not completely accurate, but you see what I mean by that. Good. So let's move on to the next one. Let's move up there and get rid of... Oh dear, let's undo that. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's get rid of that. 
Right, our last question. The trigon trigonometrical identity. So, you know some of the trig rules, I'm sure you do. So which ones do we use here? Well, we've got 2 sine x is equal to cos of x. And it wants us to give an answer in that interval between 0 and 2 pi, or between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. And it wants it in radians. So we want one kind of sine or cos or tan. We want one of these with a number on the end, so tan of fifth. Or actually, what we really want is tan of x to be equal to some number, some arbitrary number in there, or a sine, or a cos, or anything like that. So what can we do to both these sides to just get one of those sine or cos? Well, what if we divide both sides? by cos. So we get 2 sine of x over cos of x equals cos of x over cos of x. Then, using our trigonometry rules, we can say that sine over cos is tan. So we get 2 tan x <coughs> sorry, equals 1. Then we just play around with it a little bit. We get tan of x. Tan of x is equal to a half. Then we inverse tan of x. We inverse tan of a half, rather. And what we are going to get when we do that is your calculator will tell you that x is equal to, in radians, make sure you calculate calculator is in radians, 0.464. But that is not our final answer because as we know, if my drawing will allow it to be shown, tan something like this, something like this. It's repeated every 180 degrees. If this is zero here, then this will be 180 degrees. Or, rather than saying 180 degrees, we can say it's repeated every pi. So, if this is in radians, then our next solution is going to be, the next one is going to be 0.464 plus pi. Plus pi. And it just so happens that I've worked that out, and we have x is then equal, as our final answer, x is equal to... 0.464 radians and 3.61 radians, both just three significant figures. So, hope that was helpful. See you on the next one.